Okay. So that, that's the uh, Fear Clear is the Transvaal flag. Yes. And the Free, the free State flag. On the left. Those are from uh, the uh, 1890s to 1905s. Goodness. In 1904, really. So that's sure. when it all collapsed. Okay. Um, all these collections, everything in this collection is absolutely original. They all come from the World War. They're no fakes. We've only got one fake, which is Victoria Cross. Hmm. Because we can't keep... Uh, no, too valuable. Uh, uh, yeah, especially from the World War. It's in the set. The medal collection is a full collection. There's only one medal missing. Um, things that you'll see inside the uh, cabinet. The, the medals are real? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's from, from the World War. <laughs> so, um, if you look here... The DSO is worth a fortune. This gentleman's offered to show us around a bit. Uh, yes, uh, Royal Red Cross, this is Kimberley. This is distinguished Royal Naval. It's a mixture here of World War medals, the King South African medal, the Queen South African medal. Um, and these are all original from the World War. The only one we're missing is uh, for Trower Dinsta. And that was awarded by the Boers, was it? Uh, yeah, this is a Boer War one. Sure. Um, from the Kruger? Kruger Cross is obviously um, uh, British. Did the Boers have their own medals? Uh, no, not really. They, okay. You know, they didn't bother about minting it. They just <laughs> had to get on and go and do the damn job. Yeah. <coughs> so this is an organogram of all the characters that were in the Boer War. You can see there on the bottom right uh, left is Cecil John Rhodes. And I see him, yes. He was um, a mining magnet. He yes. made his money in Kimberley as a young man. Yeah. He was a gay boy. He was a and, troublemaker. Uh, <coughs> the war, well, he, he wanted, um, he financed the whole war. And he wanted to, his dream was to see a British colony from Cape to Cairo. I can see a blockhouse up there. Yeah, so the blockhouses are all around. They're still around um, South Africa. Um, oh. They're near Hodibesport Dam. Oh, okay. There's a blockhouse there, there's a blockhouse at uh, Techport. Um, and then you see Queen Victoria, then Paul Kruger, then yeah. Della Ray, De Vet. There's uh, uh, Lord Roberts on top. Um, and these are kind of all the battle scenes. Yeah, uh, very King, well done. Know, there was a lot of um, uh, sieges and stuff that they had. Yes. Uh, the Boers used to siege the Brits, the Brits used to siege the Boers. Um, well, Mafeking was famous all around the world, wasn't well, it? Well, Mafeking's just up the right hand, and it's about an hour's drive from here. Wow. Uh, all the guns that you see here, they all came from the Jamison Raid of uh, 1899. Wow. And uh, they're all real guns. So, uh, oops, fucking hit me. It's, um, it's a bit dark in here, but... The, the hierarchy of the Brits were all Freemasons, and the hierarchy of the Boers were also Freemasons. So they used to shoot and kill each other Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday they'd all get together under the big tree and they'd do Freemason work and then it's like, okay, we're not going to shoot you when you go home now. So, <laughs> so this is a Freemason's room. Let me just see if some booze got This is called the Freemason's room. Very oh, special. This guy's got ink today. Yeah. I just said, hi, how are you going? He said, would you like to show you around? It? He, so he says we've just missed. Now I want to ask him a question. This is the historical society that's trying to, set, trying to keep this stuff safe um, in South Africa. They've just finished a conference here today and packed up at lunchtime and left. Right. Oh, can you imagine if we had them? Yeah. Well, you know, he, he's, that, that's uh, Pete Gilbert there. Slim, yeah, there's Pete. Slim, there's, slim Pete. So, and, and, well, when he comes back now, I'll show him. Yeah. Remember the guy we met at the... Um, at the blockhouse. At the blockhouse. That yeah. guy, he's third generation um, down. From and this fellow says there's a blockhouse on our way back at... Uh, what's that? What did you call it? Where they stayed? Um, Futekalochte? Futekalochte? No, no, no. Way back here, just outside Rustenburg. That hard of Oh, hard of Yeah, he says okay. there's a blockhouse there. Yes, you know that uh, the blockhouses all deteriorate. Well, they're, 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 it's got two major cracks in it. I said, yeah, know, but I mean, it's going to be. Some of the guys are trying to. I think it's that blockhouse they've taken the foundations up because they, they're owned by an Indian family and they want the thing to collapse. 
But they're not allowed to knock it down because it's, it's a heritage. historical. Yeah. yeah, so they've been digging underneath the foundation. So that's why there's, yeah, yeah. they have. Because yeah. there's whole, well, no. you, you know, you can't just walk in through yes. the door. You've got that entrance that you've yeah. got to go, conceal the entrances. Yeah. But there's been digging around it. And, yeah. and then there's major cracks. And as I said to Chile, it's a question of time. This is yeah, I know. Well, they're trying to demolish it, you know. But, yeah. Yeah. The word is just a farmer. Yeah. And they said, stand off our farms. And the Brits came in kitchen and, and they started fighting with them. And so 40,000 words took on four million. Mm. These are the South African family. Now uh, this is a Freemason's room. Oh, oh goodness, oh me. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at this, more stuff. This, I thought we were in the Freemason's room, we're not. The interesting thing is that when Robert wanted to start. He heard the story about the Freemasons. Look at them all. And uh, he wanted Four generals. to um, show some of the history. He got a phone call from the head of the Freemasons. So what the hell are you doing? Yeah. They said, this is a story that the Brits and the Boers were both Freemasons and stuff. And they said, okay, let us do a hundred. And they came back about a month later and said, you're quite correct. We'll allow you to put up a Freemason, but we come in to do it. And we made rail of stuff there. And they've actually asked us to make them own room for them. I actually lived I mean, two years ago. I'll take it out. For a guy. And all these, all these four war generals that you see here were Freemasons. Oh, I just don't think I'm going to have time, even though we've got, we've got tonight, we've got tomorrow. I don't know what time they'll open, but I just don't think I'm going to have time to film all this. What you should do is take Terry to, um, you know, as you go out toward Broncos Road on the highway of Pretoria. Um, haven't been on it. But These are all the regiment, British Regiment of Foot. These are all the regimental so you badges. Yeah, and you go towards Whitbank. Yeah, you're taking the back. You go to Broncos Spray. Okay. That, that same with the death strip. Yeah. The first toll gate yeah. is called Diamond Hill. And that These are the Scottish the regimental badges. Yeah. Look at them, they're, they're magnificent, they're gorgeous. And the Scottish. And they are uh, Freemasonry regalia, sashes and badges and caps and my goodness and they waited till they got within 600 meters and then held in the pump pumps and um, it was quite a, a ferocious artillery battle and uh, the british tried to advance and the boers held them back and then there's an outcrop of rocks and winston churchill went underneath a rock and he had his handkerchief and he was waving the artillery higher and lower and higher and lower to the right and to the left to try and direct fire on fire. And uh, he thought he deserved um, a, a Victoria Cross for it, but he never got it. Yeah. Um, so that's there, Diamond Hill Toll Diamond Plaza, Hill. on so the right hand side if you go that way. Okay. Well, I, I mean, You've got to go and see it. Well, mean, um, some wonderful we, We're going back to Boxburg after that. Okay. What, what is the detour? That way, I mean, you, know, you can get around that way to box, yeah. right? I'd rather go that way and, and see yeah, something significant. All the, the rock outcrops and everything, all the stellings from the woods are all still there. Yeah. Chiri, uh, are you coming out this way? Are you going, or are you going to Mafeking on your own? Yeah, okay. And then, are you coming out this way with a guide, or no, not this side, we're going the other side. Um, um, we're going to Warmbats, is oh, it? Warmbats, Warm yeah. yeah. Or Bella Bella. Yeah, well, yeah. Warmbats. Um, we're going the other way to, to uh, Middleburg. Yeah, so yeah, when you go on that road, there's yeah. Diamond Hill. I think he's got Diamond Hill as a, so, one of my... Yeah. yeah, a really interesting uh, battle. The, the tour guide that's taking you down there is... He's yeah. Alan. Is that Alan? I'm not sure he's... Uh, oh, no, he's fabulous. Yeah. Um, I've got him on my phone. All right, so now we're moving, um, we've left the um, 